Hey everybody, it's Tony the Blacksmithing Gamer, and here we do everything from blacksmithing to 3D printing to bring the things inside the video games into the real world. This week, we're following up on some Fire Emblem, three houses, and we're making Edelgard's Axe. This is a Patreon request, so let's get started. I'll show you how we made it. So there was a little bit of time where uh, I was going through booms like nobody's business and uh, this guy was the culprit. So it's a big push broom. It's uh, in fact the one that it's it's got on it right now is a little bit bent. So uh, it's still doing it and it still has one in there. But I kept on getting these cheaper broomsticks that uh, kept on breaking off so I figured I'd find a use for them eventually, and this project I have. So I'm gonna use this for the axe. We're using a little bit of putty here because uh, my printer seems to be acting up here. It's gonna fill in some of the gaps here. I finished connecting the two pieces. I finished grinding down the tip. This is basically just a broom handle. You can get it at the dollar store. but. Let's get started here. Thank <laughs> you. 
real quick I'm trying to get my first thousand subscribers so if you want to support me and like what I'm doing hit that subscribe button down there below or head over to my patreon all right so I got my two point epoxy and get a little something to stir it with all right so I fed I got the uh, two pieces down on the shaft of the axe. Get this guy on here. I'll put some glue on there and we'll be good. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down there below. Or if you want to follow me on any of these social media websites, you can get daily updates on the projects I'm working on. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony, the Blacksmithing Gamer, where every week we're making things from the games we love.